Good morning everybody, James Graves here and welcome to another tutorial. If you're new to the channel, my goal is to show you the true value of things by teaching you how to create, improve or repair anything and everything. So in today's episode, I'm going to show you a neat little trick that I've used countless times over the years for all sorts of metalworking projects where I've needed to bend steel bar whether that's round bar, square bar, or rebar. Now, the best thing about this is you don't need any kind of specialist jigs, formers, tools, anything like that. All you need is one simple piece of equipment that most of you probably already have, or you can buy really cheaply, and you can do this by hand. Now, I always like to give examples so you know exactly what to expect from using this. So, here's something I made a couple of years ago for my partner for her birthday. And this was made from straight bar that I bent using only this technique. And like I said, you only need one piece of equipment for this and I already have that on this table. Just your standard tabletop bench vise. What I've got here is some 10mm rebar. This is probably the thickest thing you'll be bending with this technique because you are going to be bending it by hand. I'd recommend buying it in lengths of a metre or two metres and don't cut off the section you need because what we're going to do is use the length of this as our lever to get that bend. The trick here is to get your vice jaws pretty nice and close like this, I'd say a good 15mm apart, 20mm, depending on the radius of the curve you're going for, but just experiment with it. And what we're going to do, make sure you've got some good headroom in the room that you're working in, and just put the end into the jaws like that. So starting from here, we're just going to apply le leverage on the end of the bar. And you see a slight bend starts to occur and then we're going to move it in very slightly and do the same thing again. Move it in again and bend, making sure that you're keeping the rod nice and straight. And then just keep pushing it in further to add radius and length of the curve. So the key to getting a nice smooth bend is to keep moving the rod further in as you bend. If you just bend from one point, you're not gonna get an even radius. All will happen is you'll get a bend on the point where it's clamped in the vise. So I'll just do that again quickly to show you how it looks in real time. So as you can see from bending it again, I've obviously increased the radius of that bend and the length of the curve. So the trick is here, you can very easily increase the radius. So always recommend trying to bend less than you think for a specific purpose, and then you can always go back and bend it further. You can actually decrease the radius of this now if you've gone too far. It's not quite as easy, but I'll show you that now. So if you want to decrease the radius, it's a little bit different. What I recommend doing is getting the end in the vise and clamping it. Close the vise nice and tight. And then you're just going to bend it back the other way. And putting pressure on the area that you're specifically trying to bend back. If I want the bend to a start from here, then I can push from here. If I just want it from here onwards, you can focus it just a little bit more. So that's how easy it is. It's really, really simple. And that's all there is to it. You don't need any specialist jigs or formers or anything like that. You can just bend freehand until you get the desired look. So I'm just going to show you in real time now how I would do this for a sculpture like this phoenix here. So I'm going to choose something relatively challenging so you can see how this can be applied. I'm going to take this piece here. If you start from this end you can see there's a slight curve to start off with and then it comes into this big sweeping curve and then back to another curve here, there's actually three curves going on. What I like to do is I'll hold my metal up to here and I'll just look, where does that curve start? So I can see it's here. Now, when we're bending, if we put the jaws on the point of curving, it's actually going to curve after it because of the thickness of the metal. So we need to start just a little bit before. So putting this here so you can see, if I was to bend this, I'd probably clamp the jaws somewhere back here so then when I bend it, I'm going to get that nice sweeping curve happening at this point. Take it out. Now I'm going to compare. 
So I've still got to go a bit further than that. Back in. And this is what I said about doing it a bit at a time so you don't go too far. So as you can see, that's pretty good. That's following the curve now up to this point here where it goes straight. So that's where we need to start our next bend. But this one's going to be in the opposite direction, which makes it just a little bit more difficult. So if you imagine we need to bend in the opposite direction, if we just put it in there and bend the other way, as you can see, the part that's in the jaw, it's going to damage that existing curve. So we need to be a little bit careful not to do that. In which case, we're going to have to be a little bit sneaky. And we're going to have to clamp the corner where we want that sharp bend to start taking place. You can see what we've done. Be careful it doesn't ping out. We're actually clamping just a very specific point that we want that bend to start in the other direction. So we can start bending from there. You do need quite a lot of space to do this just because you're maneuvering quite a large piece of metal. So you can see that bend has started to occur in the other direction. So again, we know we want to start here. So we've pretty much got the point of our next curve now starting. So we need to start bending it back in the other direction. So again, using that previous technique, we're going to clamp here and we're going to bend that bit back straight and then start to curve back in the other direction. And that's pretty much it. Obviously it's not a perfect representation, but that's the sort of accuracy that I'd be going to if I was making this based on a drawing. Now there's one last thing I want to show you which I haven't mentioned and that's how to get really tight radiuses like this one here where you've essentially got a right angle which you're not going to be able to achieve just by bending it by hand and that does require us to use one more basic tool which hopefully you've got already. So to achieve this realistically it's very hard to get a super tight bend right on the edge of your rod because it's going to be hard to hold it so we're going to have to assume we're going to get a bit of waste and what we're going to do is we're going to start our steel somewhere around there. So we're going to clamp this now in the vise as tight as we possibly can so that we can hit this into a right angle. So with the levering hand, you want to start right at the top and you want to apply pressure so you've got that bend coming in already. So you're going to put your hand as close as you can to it and we're going to start it off just bending from there and we're going to go as far as we can with it. With this hand, continue to apply pressure and we're going to be striking just after where we want the bend to occur and that's going to force that into the vise. Now I can hear my neighbours staring next door so I'm going to stop with the hammering for now but as you can see I have got a much sharper bend than you'd achieve just from bending this by hand. If I kept going with it I'd get that sharper and sharper still until we took that curve out of this steel here and you just had straight and then straight from there. As usual, thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found some value in it, please do drop it a like and tell me in the comments below what you liked, what you didn't like and what you want to see me do next time. If you want to see more of this kind of content, please do subscribe. I'm going to be releasing new tutorials every single Thursday, 12pm noon UK time from now on out. So ring that bell and hopefully we can grow a community and help as many people as possible. So thank you very much again and I'll see you in the next one.